got a job with the Health and Care Professions Council. And Sophie Muddyman, a fashion buying with marketing graduate, landed a full-time job after impressing uh, bosses during her work-long placement uh, at George. So moving on to your DMU future. You're just beginning your journey now into higher education. And my congratulations to you, because you're doing that really at the hardest of times. I've seen that firsthand because my son has been doing A-levels as well this year. It's been a really difficult time. I think it's now time, obviously, to move forward, for you to take control, to think positively, and think about where you want to go in the future. And we're here to support you do that. We have a project called Your DMU Future, and that's about connecting safe campus living with our quality teaching, with ensuring that you get one-to-one -one help from your tutors within our very diverse and inclusive and welcoming university. So if you Google your DMU future, you'll get more information about that. But we have different projects here. So first of all, we have Healthy DMU, and that will help support you, talk to you about what's a healthy way of living, and support you through some of the mental issues as well and anxiety that people are obviously having coming out of COVID, and we're really aware of that. We've also got lots of advice about managing your own funds, so it might be the first time that you're living financially independently, and we're there to give you that advice on how to budget, and indeed, if you find things very difficult, we can provide extra support for you. We're also really experienced here about providing support for students who need an extra little, extra little bit of help. So if you have something like dyslexia or something else where you need extra support, please do get in touch and register for that. One in five of our students here takes up that offer. And so we know how to help students who need some specialized support. And we're able to do that really successfully. We've got a great student union, and I hope you'll get a chance to visit them on campus later on. Uh, so DSU, uh, De Montfort Student Union, have got an amazing array of activities, groups, societies that range across a whole diverse of, di diversity of different things that you can do. So do really hope that you become involved in that. And beyond Leicester, there's still a wider world. And I think at this moment, it's even more important that we reach out and understand that we're part of a global community. So we have a scheme called DMU Global, which enables... Uh, and supports travel opportunities for people to take alongside their courses so they can get more experience of the world, understand how their skills fit into that and enable them to use that experience to go forward when they graduate. Being um, diverse is really important to us. So we have got this global outlook. And obviously recently things have shown us that that's important. We've just been awarded the second term of our United Nations Academic Impact Hub. And it means that we're one of the hubs for the Sustainability Development Goals. We have number 16, which is about peace, justice, and strong institutions. We're the only university in the world to have that mark and the only UK university to be part of the SDG official process. And so what it means is that we build things like sustainability into your curriculum and we make sure that what we do on campus as well is to subscribe to that. And, and we're doing pretty well at, at reducing our carbon levels as well. So there's going to be some amazing opportunities for you to take part in projects that sit around the SDGs. We also do quite a lot of work around equality and diversity. And we have a big project called Decolonizing the Curriculum. And what we're doing with that is making sure that all of the material that we teach to you is again as diverse and accessible, and lots of people can therefore uh, make sure that they, can, um, they, that, that they see themselves reflected in the material that we're teaching. That project's going really well, and it means that DMU is one of 19 universities in the country that's been awarded the race charter mark, and we're very proud of that. So if you want to make a difference, is a great place to do that, and Leicester's a great, great place to start it. I'm really optimistic about the future, and I hope that you are too. I think things are going to get better than the year that we've had, thankfully. And this open day is one of the ways that you can experience that for yourself. So today you can take part in live streams, course talks, question and answer sessions, hear firsthand from tutors, 
and got a great taste of what DMU and Leicester are like. There's lots of people for you to speak to today, so do please ask them the questions. And as everyone always says, you know, no question is too silly. If you're thinking about it, lots of other people will be too. But today's also the day you can start building useful contacts. So you can do that through our social media channels. We've got a 2021 Applying to DMU Facebook group, which you can look up immediately. Universities have the power to change lives. And I hope that DMU can help you. We're here to help. Enjoy your open day. Good luck. Good luck with whatever you do do. And thank you for your time. I want now to introduce somebody who can actually tell you something more about being a student. So Laura's a third year LLB law student. So please welcome Laura Toa Hindle. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is a great pleasure to welcome you here um, to an on-campus, physical, in-person open day. Goodness, it feels like such a long time ago that um, we could all do this, that we could all be in the same room together. And it's almost like it's gone from one extreme to another, actually, because you know, you're getting accustomed to this digital way of life, you know, smart on top, comfies on the bottom. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're out of your desk at your house and you're on a stage in front of a room full of people and you're thinking, goodness, I've got to fit into my jeans again. Um, so, no, 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 I am really, really excited to be here and it's a great opportunity for me um, to talk to you guys a little bit and give you a bit of insight about what it is like to be a student here at De Montfort University. And hopefully I'll be speaking to some of the future faces of DMU as well. Um, now, I know it's fairly early in the morning, but I'm all for a little bit of interactivity with the audience. So, please join in, don't be shy, otherwise I'm going to look a bit silly up here. But I would like to get a sense of how everybody is feeling today. So, please raise your hand if you are feeling excited. Anybody excited in the room? Good, okay, this is great. Okay, put your hand up if you are maybe feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive about today. Anyone? A little bit? Okay, and when I'm talking about nervous, I'm obviously talking about England's quarter-final match later. That is obviously where I'm sensing the nerves are here. No, 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 if anyone is feeling a little bit nervous, it, don't worry, nerves are a really, really great thing. So, before I get started into the main part of my presentation, I would like to give you a little bit of context about my route to De Montfort University. So I took the A-levels route, um, so I did three A-levels um, and then... Um, completed a UCAS application, um, but one really important thing I did is I did my research. So I thought about what is important to me, what do I want a university to give me and offer me. Um, so in order to select my university choices for UCAS, I made a, a check sheet, I made a tick list, and I thought about what do I want? Do I want a university that's got a good employability rating? Um, do I want certain extracurricular opportunities? Do I want specific course modules, specific location in the country? Um, do I want to go to a university that's on campus or is based in the city? Do I want to go to a university that's got really good support options? And then I selected the universities that ticked all of these boxes for me. The next thing I did was I attended a DMU Open Day. Now, I didn't just attend a DMU Open Day, I attended lots of Open Days, and I would really recommend that you guys book and attend every single Open Day for the universities that you are interested in, because it's the only way to get a true sense of a university and know if it's right for you. So all of you here today, this is a really, really positive start on your journey to finding the right university for you. So yes, as I mentioned earlier, I then um, did a UCAS application and I made De Montfort University my conditional firm choice. Um, DMU was actually the last open day that I attended um, and I was completely blown away. It ticked all my boxes um, and I know it probably sounds a little bit soppy, but just being on campus, I knew it was right for me. So that's how I knew that De Montfort University was the right university um, and I was pleased to be able to make it a conditional firm choice. And then everything else just happened really quickly. Yeah, I was booking my accommodation, um, welcome weekend, I was moving in, results day obviously was thrown in there somewhere. So it was a little bit of crazy, but it was all very, very exciting. 
So a couple of the reasons why I chose Dimmu, obviously I've just said, sounds a little bit soppy, but campus really did feel like home. I remember walking around and just being completely blown away. Um, and the campus has actually completely transformed since I started here um, at the university. Um, but it's a fantastic campus, lots of green space, and it's um, a campus university, but it benefits from being right next door to the city centre. So the city centre is literally a stone's throw away, so it means you can get the benefits of both worlds, essentially. Um, Another thing that was really important to me was on my checklist was course facilities. Um, now, I do law, so I was really impressed with the course facilities that they had. Um, but just by being at university over the last few years, I have been able to have the pleasure of seeing a whole host of amazing course facilities. So whatever course you're here to look at today, be assured that there's going to be something amazing. Um, extracurricular opportunities were a huge thing for me, and I'm always a massive advocate for don't just do your degree when you're at university. Try and find something else to do, um, whether that's um, joining um, Deba Media if you come here. So that is our student media group, um, and they have opportunities to get involved in things like radio, television, um, get involved with the magazine. They've won so many national recognitions and awards. They really, really are a great bunch of people. Um, and I, it was a pleasure for me to um, host the Tuesday morning breakfast show in my first year at university. Um, and that was so, so much fun. Um, another one is Dimi Local, Dimi Square Mile. So um, that is our volunteering hub of the university. And volunteering is something that's really, really close to my heart. Um, so I was really keen to go to a university that had a great connection with its local community um, and had opportunities that were, were meaningful um, and inspiring. Um, and that's something that I found here. And I've been able to take part in quite a different, like an array of volunteering opportunities that for me has been very, very rewarding. Um, so you can find a whole range of different opportunities, both through DMU Local and the DMU Public Engagement Team, or through the Students' Union as well. Um, speaking, about, just, <laughs> speaking about the Students' Union, DeMont Students' Union, Amazing, amazing institution. I really, really hope that you guys go and visit them today. If, you, if they're not on your radar, please, please do go and take a look at the campus building. Um, I'm really keen to be involved in things like student engagement. Um, so that's why I really, really um, love the Students' Union. But they also host all of the sports teams and societies. Uh, we have over 100 of them. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be something for you. However, if there is not, you guys can start your own society up. So if you know, you're watching Bake Off and you're thinking, you know what, I fancy myself as a bit of a baker, but actually there's not a baking society here, get one started, grab a few friends, um, and the Montfort Union can support you in starting that up. Um, the next thing that was really important to me, hopefully it's all on your guys' radar, is employability. Um, and I'm really pleased to tell you that DMU has a whole range of different employability options here. Um, Literally, we have, <laughs> I'm trying to reel them all off in my head, but um, we have um, things like DMU Works. We have things like careers and employability, mentorships, um, internships. Um, each different faculty has a dedicated placement team so they can help you find short-term and long-term options for work experience, um, things like a year in industry. Um, we also have things like CV writing workshops and um, interview practice workshops and... Um, all things like that, so it can really help you nail down those skills and help you impress the most when you are looking for those jobs. Um, we also have UniTemps, which is an on-campus recruitment agency, so they can help you find flexible part-time work that fits around your studies. Um, things like student ambassador roles, where you um, can work at an open day like this um, and really, really get involved with the spirit of DMU. So they, they do have some really great options, so make sure you um, check them out today. Um, and then the last one that was hugely, hugely um, important to me was support services. So I was really keen to go to a university that was there for me, that, that valued me and, and made me feel important um, and looked after, essentially, and was there if I ever needed anything. Um, and I'm really pleased to tell you that DMU has a plethora of support options here. So you've got your academic support through your personal tutors. Um, I have had the most incredible personal tutor during my time here at De Montfort University. He has never failed to be there when I've needed him. Um, 
We've also got a whole, um, a whole load of pastoral support as well, so things like um, the library and learning services, so they offer study support, um, you can book one-to-one -one appointments with them. We have assistive technology, we have the Healthy DMU hub, we have mindfulness sessions. Um, we also have the student gateway services, so that's where you can find things like finance advice, um, accommodation, disability support, um, international support, um, and we've also got DSU's advice team as well. So there's really a whole range of support mechanisms here to help you at De Montfort University and the people behind them are all amazing, amazing people um, and ready to help you if you ever need it. So do reach out to them. So on this side here, I've tried to make it as creative as possible. I've just put a few of the things that I've been able, that I've been lucky enough to, and, and been able to, to get involved here, get involved in here at DMU. Um, and I genuinely do not feel like I would have been able to do this many things um, at any other institution around the country. Um, DMU is absolutely crazy with the amount of opportunities they offer to help you grow, develop, and try new things. Um, so I now have a whole range of amazing stories to put on my CV, to tell my friends and family, to tell future um, employers. Um, Obviously, your academic studies are your priority, so I've popped them handily at the top of the slide. Um, but I would say take full advantage of everything on offer and take advantage of something that sparks your interest or try something completely new. But definitely, I, I would say the balance is try and find at least one extra thing per year uh, to get involved in um, and just, just give it a go. Give it a go. Throw yourself out there. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the city that you guys potentially might be living in. So obviously things are a little bit different now, um, but I want to help you visualize the city in its full glory. Um, now for some of you, um, you may be moving out of a place that's been familiar to you for a very, very long time, um, and you may be moving into a completely new environment. And that's a really big thing, it really is. You know, don't underestimate that. Um, but often I have prospective students ask me, is it scary? Are we going to settle in? You know, is it hard to settle in? How do you settle in? Um, and the honest answer is it's completely different for everybody. Um, me, honestly, I initially struggled to settle into university life. You know, it's a big change. You know, don't underestimate that. Don't feel bad on yourself for thinking, oh, I'm struggling, okay? Like, that is fine. What you do about that is the really, really important thing. You know, it's a big, big change. Um, so there may be times that you're feeling not quite top-notch about it, and that's okay. But obviously, how you react to it is important. So I'm hoping that this slide will help you become a little bit more familiar about what could be your new city. So I hope that everybody knows the city's connection to Richard III, um, who was discovered under a local car park, and you can now visit his tomb in the Leicester Cathedral. And obviously, Leicester City's glorious Premier League win um, in 2015-16. I don't know if you guys are getting the sports vibe here. We're very big on the sports team here. Um, I would also just like to clarify that while we still are basking in that glory a little bit, we fully are riding the wave of our recent FA Cup champions win. Um, we're, we're very big on that. But yes, um, crazy celebrations in the city when we won the, uh, the, champion, uh, the Premier League. That was, that was really, really fun. Um, and then obviously Leicester has all your favourite high street shops and restaurants as well. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit more about the things that you're not, you might not know so much about. So Leicester is a vibrant city and it's steeped in culture and history. Um, and one thing that uh, someone told me when I came to university, and it's something that I found a big, big, big comfort. And you guys might be like, really. Um, but when you're walking around the city, I recommend going out into the city and familiarizing yourself with it. But just look up. Someone told me, they said, look up, look up and take in all of the different scenes around the city. Now, we have some really, really incredibly beautiful buildings, but often people are walking around there like this. And they don't really, really take it in. They don't look. They don't look at all of this architectural beauty. And for me, walking around and just having a look at this, it was a real big comfort for me. It helped me really, really settle in. Um, so if you take anything away today, look up, look up. Um, so we are a student city. We have 50,000 students. That's not just at DMU. That's across the, the two, sort of three with, with Loughborough. Um, universities here. Um, we are based in the Midlands. Um, I'm telling you now, and this is probably the best bit of advice that I could give you, pick a side. Don't get all flaky with it. Pick a side. You're either north or south and stay with it. And also the little bread things, we call them cobs here. So none of this roll, bat, balm. I don't know what that is, okay? It's a cob, so just, it could start a small war here. So that's 
my advice to you guys. Um, we've also got um, a great countryside surrounding the city. So we've got Bradgate Park, which is a short drive away. Um, Lady Jane Gay lived there. That was a nine days queen. We've also got things like Watermead Country Park and Aylston Meadows and Castle Gardens, which is just next to campus. That is beautiful. If you have chance to maybe walk through it as you go back from the venue to campus, really, really nice place. Um, we've got so many different food cuisines to try here. We've got full of history, full of arts. Um, Katie mentioned some of the wonderful things that we have here. We have independent music venues, we have theatres, and we have loads and loads of different light festivals. We have a graffiti trail around, town, like, around the city centre, so if you guys have a chance to go and have a little look at the street art, it's incredible here. Um, we've also got lots of leisure and sport options. Um, we've got the National Space Centre, we've got bowling, we've got crazy golf, we've got escape rooms, um, we've got sports facilities like the QE2, which is just over the way, um, and then trans Transport links as well. We're, we're right in the heart of the country. You know, we've got plenty of trains, buses, coaches. Everything is walkable, cyclable. Um, it, it's great. Everything is so so accessible. So there's really something for everyone. It's a fantastic city to live, work, and socialise in. So coming to the end of my presentation now. So I just wanted to give you guys. Hopefully you've been taking something away from everything I've been saying. But I just wanted to give you guys. My top tips that I wish someone had told me before I came to university. So this is the advice that I would give myself, and hopefully you'll resonate with something in here. So the first one, your university journey is your own. So what I mean by that is don't put pressure on yourself for things to happen in a certain way or a certain time. You know, you guys might have older friends, older brothers and sisters that have gone to university, and their experience may be completely different to yours. But don't think, oh, I must do this at this point, and this must happen here, and I must go crazy here, or something like that. No, 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 absolutely not. Like, your university experience is your own. Don't compare your university journey to others. Everybody's time at university is different. So your journey and your experience will be unique to you. Shape it how you wish. So we, our slogan here at Democracy University is proud to be more. Um, and I don't think I've ever resonated with something so much here. So life after graduation, it can be competitive, OK? Um, use your time at university as a golden opportunity to give yourself that added edge over your cohort. I'd recommend, like I said earlier, doing at least one extracurricular activity whether that be a DMU Global Opportunity, uh, volunteering, joining a sports team or society, or getting more involved with the Students' Union. Um, one thing I would say, though, is all of these experiences, just make a little note somewhere on your phone, um, in a notepad, um, on your computer, about the skills and experiences that you've learned as part of that, because that will make it so much easier when you're coming to write your CV for jobs after graduation. Get a part-time job. If your course allows it, and if you have the time, I think a part-time job is an absolutely brilliant opportunity to gain extra work experience, um, as, as in addition to what's on offer here at Democracy University. Um, but it's also a really good thing to promote financial independence, um, and you know it can teach so many important little skills that you may be, you may think like you might overlook. So things like time management and you know professionalism, resilience, um, all those things. Um, speaking about finance as well, student bank accounts. Um, do your research on them. Pick ones with the best perks. Four-year Rails card. Hopefully, I don't know if that's still a thing, but fingers crossed. Um, and also student discounts. Get yourself registered to every single student discount you can. If you are paying full price for something, you are doing it wrong. So get yourself registered to them. The next one, don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, okay? So you're not alone, and there's chances are that a load of people are in, feeling exactly the same, they're in the same boat as you, okay? Reach out to friends, family, tutors, or the specialist support teams at DMU if you need them. The bonds that you form with others at university and how you fill your time are huge, huge factors for your university journey, and they can actually really help to make your transition into university life as smooth as possible. But never, ever feel like you, there's no support, you know? There's always people here to help you if you need it. Always ask questions. Katie said earlier, no question is a silly question. Chances are, and it's so true, if, someone, if you're thinking it, someone else is definitely thinking it as well. Um, so never feel worried or unsure. Ask away. Um, when I came to DMU for my open day, I asked away. I asked so many questions, and that was what helped me know that this university was right for me. So spend today asking questions. Um, if you go away from here and you're like, oh, no, I have a question to ask, reach out to us on social media. We've always got people here to help you. And for today, get involved and explore as much as you can. You guys have the golden opportunity. We're here on campus. You can go and physically see everything that we have to offer in person. So really, really make sure that you take advantage of that. Um, and just get stuck in and enjoy. 
Um, so a few final words from me. Um, I am I'm very proud to be a DMU student, and I'm extremely grateful for every single opportunity that I have been able to take part in. And all the experiences that I've had, I've been able to do so, so much. Um, and each and every single one of them has helped me now build a, a foundation for a future that I am really, really excited for. So I hope that you guys have as an amazing a university experience as I've had, and I really, really wish you best for your futures. Thank you for your time today. Enjoy your day um, and take care. I'm now going to pass you back to the Vice Chancellor and to say a few final words. Thank you very much. Thanks ever so much, Laura. I think that's very honest and inspiring, so thank you for that. Um, can I just say to all of you, thank you for your time joining us this morning. Uh, I'm sure you, you have got a long list of events and, and activities you're going to go on and do after this, so please do go and enjoy those. Uh, if you would like to ask Laura and I anything, we'll both be around for a few minutes now, but otherwise, enjoy your day, and let's hope the rain stays off for most of it. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.